So you go to your WordPress 2.7 blog today and you log in to the admin panel and you see this notice at the top that says WordPress 2.71 is available. Please upgrade now. Clicking that link is very tempting but I'd recommend you not do that without taking a few precautions first. One thing that you really need to understand when you upgrade WordPress through your admin panel is that you're going to replace all of your source code and that's everything in your WordPress directory. That includes all of the standard source code, that includes the default themes that come with WordPress, the Kubrick theme and the WordPress classic theme, uh, and everything. So if you've made any customizations to your code, to any of the default code, then that's going to be erased. Now all of your custom things should still be in place. If you've downloaded a custom theme and it's not one of the default themes, then it should still be in place. But even at that, if you think that you don't have anything customized in your WordPress default code, I would still recommend that you take some precautions before upgrading. You never know what's going to happen. You could start this upgrade process, your server could time out on you, your connection could time out, it could break for any number of reasons and leave you with a broken, corrupted site. And if you don't have a backup, then you're stuck. So, even though we have the feature now to upgrade WordPress in the admin area, which, by the way, I believe is a great feature, I'm glad it's there, you still need to take a few precautions before you press that upgrade in the future. So, let me show you what I would recommend that you do before you upgrade here in the admin area. In the past, when you've done manual upgrades, you should have always backed up your database and any custom stuff before you attempted the upgrade. That has not changed with this. You should still do that. So, before you upgrade, I would recommend going to your site, to your server, logging in however you log in. I'm going in through a control panel here. You might go in through uh, FTP. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and go to your files area where you have WordPress installed. And my blog that I'm going to upgrade here, my edutalk.org blog, it's very important to me. I don't want to lose that site. I don't want to get it corrupted uh, by having a failed upgrade. Uh, that blog is installed in my files area here and it's just called blog. It's in a subdirectory. Uh, I want to back that up. All I really need to back up in this uh, blog here are the custom things. Uh, my theme, my config file, and those type things. But it really doesn't hurt to just go ahead and back up the entire blog. So if you have FTP client, then just log into your server and copy all those files down to your computer through FTP. I have cPanel, which is very nice. I'd recommend if you don't have an account and you're looking for a provider that you make cPanel a priority because it makes working with your WordPress sites and, and any other programs just very simple. It has some really neat tools. So to back up my blog before I do the upgrade, the source code, I'm just going to select the subdirectory and come up here and click compress. And then it's going to compress that entire directory, my entire blog subdirectory, into a file called blog zip. I click compress file, wait for it to finish the archive. When it's finished, click close. Now here's my blog zip file backed up on my server. If I wanted to, and this is a good idea, I could select that now and download the file to my local computer. Okay, it's downloaded to my computer. Now to keep someone else from coming here and downloading my blog source code, uh, and you really want to do this because remember your config PHP file is in that zip. And if someone were to come to this directory right now, they could download that, and that's not good. So as soon as I download it, then I want to select it and delete it from my files area. So now I have my entire blog directory backed up and downloaded to my local computer. And again, I've done this through cPanel. You can do it through FTP, whatever means you have. And then the second thing that you should do is just like always, go to your database and I'm going through PHP my admin and dump or back up a copy of your database this is my database for the blog I'm going to upgrade I simply click export make sure all tables are selected make sure it's an SQL file click save file as click go and save 
download it to a location on my computer. Once it's downloaded and I have my database on my computer, now I feel a lot better about going back to my blog and using the update because if anything happens I have a complete backup downloaded to my computer. I have my complete source code and my complete database. So now before I click this I'm still going to take a few precautions to help ensure that the upgrade is going to go smoothly. Uh, just like always I should go to my plugins area and deactivate all of my plugins. So I'm just going to come here and select them all by clicking the check here at plugin and click deactivate and apply. Now all my plugins are deactivated and that's going to help ensure a smooth upgrade hopefully. Uh, now that that's happened I have my site backed up, I have my database backed up, my plugins are deactivated. Now I can come in and click uh, update now. Uh, before upgrading please back up your database and files. It even warns here. So I've done that uh, I'm not really sure what this link does. Let me click it and see. Okay, it just takes you to the, the WordPress documentation telling you how to do that. Well, I've just shown you how to do that. Uh, but here it even warns you to do that. Uh, so now that I have already done that, then I'm going to click Upgrade Automatically. And if everything goes well, like happened here, WordPress is upgraded successfully. So I should be able to click back on my link and I should have WordPress 2.7.1 here now and if everything's gone smoothly it should be working. Now I need to go back to my admin area, reactivate my plugins, and I'm using all plugins that I have. I don't keep plugins on my site that I don't use. You notice here uh, whenever WordPress was upgraded this Hello Dolly plugin came back. Uh, I had already deleted it because I don't use it. So I'm going to delete it again after I reactivate my other plugins. So all of my plugins here I've uh, checked them. Bulk action here. I want to activate them. Apply now all my plugins have been reactivated that I use. Uh, I have one here that I need to update of course but uh, that has nothing to do with the upgrade. Now I don't like, this is just a personal choice, I don't like to have plugins setting on my site that I don't use. Uh, so this Hello Dolly was reinstalled with the upgrade. I don't use it so I'm just going to uh, come here and delete it. Now when I upgrade again in the future it's going to be put back but I'll just keep deleting it probably doesn't hurt for it to set there uh, but I just don't like to have code, extra code, setting on my site that I'm not using so I typically clean those up. So all my plugins are reactivated and then I just need to go through and test my site and make sure that everything's working as expected and that there's no problems uh, because it could be that with an upgrade I could have a plugin that's no longer compatible or any number of issues so just go through and click around on your site Make sure that everything's working the way that it should. Most likely, if you follow these steps, your upgrade's going to be successful. But if it doesn't, if something happens, if disaster strikes, then you have a complete backup that you can use to recover with. So hopefully this helps to uh, provide a little bit more information on how to do an effective upgrade through the built-in upgrade that WordPress now offers in the admin panel.